We are back! That's right! We are back! This is Football 101! It doesn't get any better than this! <laughs> this is show number 26! We just keeping it going! We just keeping it rocking! We just keeping it rolling, baby! This is show number 26! And it's entitled, that's right, What's Wrong with the Cowboys? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> What's wrong with the Cowboys? <laughs> uh, all America is wondering, what's wrong with the Cowboys? Well, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> yes, this is the Beatle. I'm your host. I'm still excited. Week number five. And we have some special, special uh, losers. And But we really have some. We're going to dive into the Dallas Cowboys this week. Wow. Wow. Yes, I am your host, The Beatle. We're going to keep things rocking and rolling. We're going to keep it going. And I'm going to break it down just a little bit uh, during this week, number five. And uh, hopefully uh, diagnose a little bit what's, what's going on. Because this is very helpful. Because things happen to these teams once I dive into them. <laughs> I'll get to it in just a second. First, we want to say thank you, Pod B. Thank you, Pod B, for hosting us our podcast shows. The, this is show number twenty six. It's getting bigger. It's getting better. It's getting we get we get further out there. So thank you, Pod B, and eventually we will go live, go live, <laughs> uh, and have sh uh, have calls. Uh, so, but right now we want to thank Pod B. We want to thank iTunes, Apple Podcasts, getting our uh, uh, getting our show out there. We want to thank Google Play Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts and Music, getting our show out. Thank you, Google Play, for getting us out there. Thank you, Spotify, Spotify, for still hosting us, as well as thank you, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Are, are uh, such great listeners, and thank you for responding. Those of you who are listening on YouTube and sending emails to us, and anyone can send us emails. Send me an email at ejb88 and 92 at gmail.com. That's ejb88 and 92 gmail.com. Wow, that's the setup. I'm waiting for more response, but uh, again, don't be shy. I'm not going to be shy on this uh, on this show. Don't be shy. Uh, because I'm just going to tell it like it is. I played the game. It's time to tell it like it is, folks. The season is on. The season is on. It's, this is no playground. This is season is on. So let's now dive into America's team. So-called America's team again and again. And after, uh, uh, let's dive into the Cowboys. And what's wrong with the Cowboys? Wow. Let's be real. I don't mean this uh, to be shouting out. I just get excited. <laughs> I'm just excited. You're probably wondering, why is the Beatles shouting? <laughs> I'm just having too much fun in here in the studio. <laughs> It's it's nighttime. I'm throwing down the jams. Yes, and now I'm looking through the clips. I looked at the games, and then I just spot certain games that that uh, um, that uh, catch my attention. And of course, when they feature the Dallas Cowboys going to, going against the Green Bay Packers, man, I couldn't wait to see what would happen. And as predicted, as predicted, the Cowboys falter. The Cowboys faltered because the week before, they lost against Nolans and Teddy B. But they were being touted as this super team because they, they their first three games, Giants, bad, bad team. Redskins, bad team. There you go. And Miami, super bad team. So they were three and uh, three and one coming, three and one coming in this game. But they're going against better opponents. The Saints. And now the Packers. Losers. What's wrong with them? I tell you. Again. What's wrong with them? Uh, not enough talent. Now next week they will go to the Jets. Oh gosh. They'll beat up on the Jets. Of course everyone beats on the Jets. But then the big game. Two weeks from now. 
It's Philly. Philly. That's the big game. That's that's going to tell you if they're looking for Philly right now, coming up week uh, week number whatever, uh, and if they're going to look past the Jets, because they got to play Philly, then they get their bye, then they go to New York, and I believe New York will be better, uh, and uh, the kid Daniel quarterback, they will be better by then in November, and then they bring uh, Minnesota comes in. Minnesota always kind of chokes when they're on the road, quite frankly. So they'll probably win that game. Uh, then they go to Detroit, and I believe Detroit will have their their act together as well by then. Then they go to New England. Uh, <coughs> hello, uh, that's a loss. Then Buffalo comes in. Buffalo is bringing it, but I think they'll beat Buffalo. They'll go to uh, Chicago Thursday night game. Uh, the Bears should be ready, but every time the Bears play on. Uh, prime time, they do not look good. Then the Rams come in. Hopefully the Rams will, uh, by then, really be back in the fold. Then they go to Philly and they end in Washington. So it's not a disaster in cowboy land. <laughs> I used to live in Texas, folks. I used to live in Te Houston, Texas. So I already have a, a built-in bias against the, against the Cowboys. Because <laughs> when you live in Houston, you don't like Dallas. <laughs> Houstonians don't care for Dallas folks. <laughs> That's a little bit of my uh, bias, uh, obviously. But, uh, uh, of course, my bias uh, from day one didn't like the Cowboys. Only, only I liked the Cowboys way back in the day during the 70s. Yeah, during the 70s, way back in the day. <laughs> when they had uh oh my gosh I'm going to I'm going to uh I'm going to really date myself Calvin Hill <clears throat> dang that's my boy <laughs> they had Bob Hayes dang my boy they had Roger Staubach dang my boy <laughs> way back in the day but now <laughs> let me got dive into the team right now come on I'm I'm digressing <laughs> okay they're starting quarterback Dak Prescott I, he threw two, at least two interceptions that I saw. Dak, you're forcing it. They give you a ton of money. And yes, Dak, Prescott, he got all the skills, all the quality. But he still makes uh, silly mistakes. Dak, when you put pressure on Dak, he's a little bit undecisive. Keep putting pressure on Dak. It's not automatic. As a matter of fact, the Green Bay Packers, they got in his face. I saw him one play. They they sacked him and he threw an interception. The defensive lineman just got in his face. Yeah, the brother got in his face, was taunting him, and Dak was not used to it. He was surprised. The brothers and the Packers, they took it to him. That's the reason why Dak threw his interceptions. Get in his face. That's the reason why when you get with the Cowboys, everyone thinks that every, all other teams should fall down. No! When you take, when you step up to another level, Cowboys, guess what? You're going to get it in the face. Yeah, and uh, Ezekiel Elliott, Ohio State, yeah, you did some good. <laughs> but uh, Elliott, you know, I don't know about it. Uh, I'm just getting a, a little bit, I, I, I'm going to say this, a little tired of Ezekiel Elliott. He's getting on my nerves already. He, he, he's, uh, 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 he's pampered. <laughs> he was pampered at Old State, <laughs> the Ohio State, and he's pampered at Dallas. Oh, we got to be nice to Ezekiel Elliott. He's not that dick. <laughs> great. <laughs> I'm, I'm, he's not. He's not. He, he, he's, he doesn't have great moves. He's powerful. He's a powerful tailback. Don't get me wrong. He can get you those one, two yards. But he's not going to break it consistently. Cause why? He has a big offensive line. And like they said about Emma Smith back in the day, if you had an offensive line like that, like that anyone could get 100 yards per game. But I'll give Ezekiel, he, he he does step up. He got his contract. He just doesn't look. Uh, let me just say this on oh my bias. Uh, he just doesn't look like he cares. 
Ezekiel, he just doesn't look like he cares. Do you do you see him on the sideline? He just seems like he just doesn't care. He's getting paid, but he's always in his own world. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I said, what's the brother? Is it, does he show emotion? Uh, I mean, I just got to see him. And so, I just don't see him enough. Uh, and uh, But when I do see him, he just seems like he doesn't care. Let, let me, that's it. I'll leave him alone. But Ezekiel, uh, uh, you're going to do your damage, yes. But they, they have to bring in another water back uh, to really uh, uh, speed it up. Because Ezekiel only, only has so much speed. And uh, let me just say this. I was surprised how the Cowboys, they brought in Tavon Austin, wide receiver, and, and just doing different running plays. And they don't still know how to utilize Tavon Austin. Super speed. It's bad when you got a talent like that. And you don't know how to incorporate him on a regular basis. Yes, they have. Oh, oh yes, they have uh, uh, Cooper. Monty Cooper, he made plays. He scored. I mean, uh, he can catch. He made the plays. He made the touchdowns. He's not He's not the fastest wide receiver, but he made plays. I'm tired of him, Monty. Uh, he's not that great of a wide receiver. And, again, the major problem for the Cowboys against, against the Packers is their defense. The Cowboys' defense got trounced on. They ran on them. They ran on the Cowboys again and again and again. Cowboys had no answer to stop the run. So you could run on the Cowboys defense. Their defense is not that good. Yes, they have solid linebackers. But the front four, the DBs, simply not that good. And once the Packers just decided to run it again and again and again, they took it to, they took it to the Cowboys. So, the problem, what's wrong with the uh, Cowboys? Didn't I say, Dak Prescott, offensively, don't know how to utilize their skilled athletes uh, on offense, like Tavon Austin, defense, is barely average, really uh, subpar, but I'll give them average. They're fast, but they're average. You can run on them. And let me say, that was three or four, whatever. And of course, the head coach, I'm going to get to Jason. Yeah, I'm going to get to you. Jason Garrett, man, Mr. Nice Guy, Mr. X quarterback. And. Who's calling the plays now? Kellen Moore. He's going to be a coach somewhere. A young kid. Uh, Jason Garrett. Uh, I'm tired of you. I think uh, America is kind of tired of you. Because it, it, it's just. Come on. So sh show some grit. Mr. Nice Guy. He's, he's never. They never blame him for anything. What's that about? You're the head coach. He never gets blamed for anything. His ninth full season. When is Jerry Jones going to pull the plug? <laughs> Come on, Jerry. So the other, what's wrong with the Cowboys? Jason Garrett. I called him out. Jason Garrett. Guess what? Your days are numbered, Jason Garrett. Now that you get the star players got their money, and if the Cowboys don't make it to the playoffs, because they're going to have to go through Philly, they're going to have to go through Philly. If they don't make the playoffs, I'm predicting that Jason Garrett will be let go and Kellen Moore will be given the reins because <laughs> Jerry Jones like young talent, new talent. So yes, they uh, the only team that the Cowboys have to worry about in their division, Philly. It looks like Philly is getting their stride. So 
if they, again, they don't make the playoffs, Jason Garrett is gone. That's what's wrong. And, of course, we can't change out the owner. Jerry Jones, he makes money on top of money, on top of money. So I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to go there with Jay, uh, <laughs> With Jerry Jones. He's an icon. <laughs> he's an icon. Didn't he receive... He's an icon. did he receive a, 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 a special jacket or something? I don't know. He's an icon, so I'm not going to go after Jerry Jones. Nah, nah. I'll leave Jerry alone because it's, Jerry, it's Jerry's world down in, in Cowboy Land. AT&T Stadium. Mega, mega money. I'm not going after Jerry Jones. I, I, I'll draw the line right now on that. Uh, but I did go after Daniel Snyder and the Washington Redskins. <laughs> I did go after Daniel Snyder, the owner. But I'm going to leave Jerry Jones alone. <laughs> He's got mega. I, I lived in Texas, so, you know, Jerry Jones, uh, man, he owns half of Texas, too. <laughs> Everything's big in Texas. <laughs> I know where to draw the line. <laughs> I know where to draw the line in Texas. <laughs> yes, I do. So I'm not going to touch Jerry Jones <laughs> and his sons and the corporation <laughs> and the stadium and the money that he continues to, br to bring into Texas. <laughs> but I will go after. <laughs> I will go after Jason Garrett and the cow <laughs> the head coach. <laughs> Yes, the way they move things, they just move people over. And Jason Garrett will be, he'll, he'll be put in the front office. It's not going to be ugly. It's just going to be a nice thing in, in Dallas. He's just going to move Jason Garrett to the front office. It's, and Jason will take the money and he'll smile. <laughs> It'll be nice. It's not going to be any, here, is, here it is. It won't be any controversy in Dallas with the Cowboys. Jace, uh, uh, Jerry Jones pays everybody off. <laughs> Jason Garrett will politely move on to the next uh, job in the Dallas organization because he was a quarterback. He was with, he's been with the Cowboys organization for it seemed like ever. And uh, 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 so uh, <laughs> uh, he'll be moved on at the end of this year, particularly if they do not make the playoffs. So, it's, uh, so what's wrong with the uh, Cowboys right now is their defense is Dak Pros Prescott. Yes, I did. And it, 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 it's their offensive play call. It's nice, but they just not using their personnel well. So that falls a bit on Kellen Moore. And, uh, and yet, the, the, the scapegoat, and you're going to have to have a scapegoat. It will be Jason Garrett. Simple as that. The scapegoat for the Dallas Cowboys will be Jason Garrett. And I'm calling him out. He will not be... Uh, Really fired. He will just be uh, given a better position <laughs> in, in the higher ups, in the administration, in the organization within in Jerry's world. <laughs> He'll be quiet, take his millions of dollars, and move on. <laughs> That's the way they do things in Texas. <laughs> That's what they do. They, I'm just kidding you. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm kidding you. But. Uh, but they do things kind of like that in, in Jerry's world, in Texas, in the Dallas Cowboys, America's team. So I'm just playing around a little bit, but someone has to go after the Cowboys because on the field, when they, when they go against better talent, it shows. So that's what's really happened. Better talent shows the level where you're really at. They know where they're at. Jason Garrett knows. He smiles. He said he smiles all the time. <laughs> and he's going to smile on his way to the bank by the end of the season. <laughs> and go off into the next, uh, uh, his next occupation in the uh, Dallas administration. Like I said, the higher ups. And I predict that Kellen Moore will be the next coach of the Dallas Cowboys. So, again, uh... It's, it's not going to look good uh, by the end, particularly if it, uh, uh, if they don't make the playoffs. But they'll, they'll smooth it over. Jerry always smooths things over. The Cowboy faithful who are everywhere across this mega land. <laughs> we even have Dallas Cowboys here down in North Carolina. <laughs> I don't get it, but yeah, they're everywhere. Uh, so, again, 
uh, what's wrong with the Cowboys? I said, coaching, Dak Prescott, offense not used well. And a bit on Kellen Moore uh, opening up, using their personnel, but it falls on Jason Garrett. I'm done. I'm done. I went after the Cowboys. I did not go after Jerry Jones. I drew the line <laughs> when you really think about it. Uh, uh, but when, if it gets really, really, really bad, I'm going after Jerry. If it gets really, really bad. But I don't think it's going But Based upon their schedule, it's not going to get really, really bad. But you never know with the NFL. So that's what's wrong with the Dallas Cowboys. That's what's wrong, folks. I called them out. I'm sick and tired of the Cowboys. Wah, wah, wah. They need to be shut up. And they need just need to go against better talent. And it shows. So there you go. <laughs> if you have any... <coughs> excuse me. If you have any thoughts, any... Uh, I know there's so many Cowboy faithful. Don't be mean in your emails. But if you email me at EJBAA at 92 at gmail.com. That's EJBAA at 92 at gmail.com. Bring it. Bring it. I'm ready. And please uh, listen to us on Podbean, Podbean Plus Forum. Subscribe to us on Podbean, please. That's right. Bring it out. We, we ready. We ready for you. Thank you, iTunes. Thank you, Google Play. Thank you, Spotify. And thank you, YouTube. 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 This is Football 101. We keeping it real. See ya!